Okay, we're going to do uh, autofocus fine tune calibration on uh, my Nikon DSLR. Um, I would not be doing this in live view. I have it on live view right now, just so you can take a peek, see what I'm doing right now. I have the chart about four feet away. You obviously need to have the chart at least minimum focusing distance away from your camera. It needs to be brightly illuminated. Obviously, autofocus needs to be on, and you damn well better be certain that you're on single point autofocus and that your autofocus point is selected to the dead center of your test chart. Right now, I am, and you must be also in aperture priority and mirror lockup. You don't need a shutter release. You got the camera on a tripod. It's plenty stable enough no matter what the camera chooses for the shutter speed. So mirror up aperture priority, open up the aperture all the way. If you've got an f2 lens, open up the f2. If you've got an f1.8, open up the f1.8. Right now this is a 24 to 85 uh, VRG Nikkor. I think minimum. I mean uh, wide open aperture on this is uh, yeah I'm gonna open up the f4.5. I'm at 60 to the second so Right now at f4.5, all the way open, since I'm in aperture priority. Um, I've uh, actually uh, seen that some knuckleheads put the chart at like a 45 degree angle. Big mistake. The steeper you make it, then the furthest end of the chart and the closest end of the chart are going to be along the same plane as the point of focus. That's no good. Even 45 is too much. I have this right about 30 to 35 degrees as far as where the test chart is. So you can see it right there. Check out video number one where I mention that. So right now it's about 30, 34 degrees. That way it gives me enough distance between the near and the far focus points that I'm able to do autofocus fine tune. Um, what you also need to do um, is that uh, you need to have the chart laying perfectly flat on a board. You can't stick it on like a piece of cardboard or you know just kind of prop the chart up. The chart can't be wavy or bowed. So I'm going to go out of live view right now. I know that I'm focused on the dead center. Take a shot, mirror up. I'm going to check that shot. I'm going to zoom in. So there's some other idiots that tell you you should take your card out and go into uh, Lightroom to check it, and that's total BS. What I'm going to do is uh, this is the uh, dead center of my black test bar where I was focused on. I'm going to go all the way up here to the right or the left. doesn't make any difference. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And then what I'm going to see is that my five here, my five up here, my four down here, my four up here, my four down here is, is much sharper than my four up here, which means I need to push it away. If you have back focus issues, you want to go towards the minus in the camera, meaning dragging the focus closer. If you have a front focusing issues, which, was I, which is what I have right now, you need to go to the plus in the camera, not a focus fine tune. Basically, the easy way to think about it is uh, plus is pushing it away. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into menu, autofocus fine tune, which is located in the setup menu. Autofocus fine tune, you want to turn it on, obviously. I am on on, okay. Now the difference here is between save value, default value, and list save values. List save values, you've got 12 lenses to choose from. You can set the default. Right now it's 2485 VRG, so I've set it at lens number one. Default, you do not want to change. I've seen some other morons actually adjusting this in their videos and autofocus fine tuning was really really stupid the only time you want to use default is if your whole camera just screwed up period that means that every lens is going to have the same issue which you're going to change the default this is not what you change for each lens you go with the save value save value is for adjusting the individual value for each and every specific lens that you have saved so default is the whole damn camera screwed up Save value is for adjusting each specific lens. Okay, right now I'm set at zero. Since I had a front focus issue, I want to add in my scale here. See, I'm going up three plus four plus five. Now I know this from having done prior tests that it's at plus six. So you're gonna have to experiment and go, you know, plus eight. In this case, too far. Plus four is too close. So I split the difference. Plus six. A little experimentation. So right now I've got to set at plus six. I can go back. See, I push the focus point further away because I was front focused. I will take the shot again. Make sure you're focused on the exact same spot, which of course I am. Go out of live view. Mirror up shot. Okay, you do not need to take this into Lightroom. What I can do is I can zoom in max here. And I can see, let me zoom in some more here. Now this is image number two, image number one, two, one. Image number two looks a lot better. And if I go over here on image number two, zoom out a little bit to my numbers over here, I can see that zoom in a little further. That was too far. There we go. My fours are equally now equally blurry. 
my fives and go over the, the right or the left doesn't make any difference as long as you're perfectly perpendicular to uh, the test shot see uh, four and four and five and five four is equally sharp on top to bottom so I pushed it the right place one and one two and two three and three four and four five and five equally out of focus and if I come over here to the center I zoom in okay and just go back and forth image one image two image one image two now I've done autofocus fine-tune that is complete you can take each lens like I said it's menu setup menu Autofocus fine tune. Save value is for each individual lens. I'm going to save this lens, which it already is, as value number one. I have 12 lenses that I can set up my Nikon D750. Default is only if the entire camera is screwed up and is screwed up on every lens that you would want to change the default value for the entire camera for every damn lens. Other idiots that are actually doing this, I mean, you can go into the owner's manual and read this. I don't know why they're doing that. They're just stupid. A save value is for that specific lens, which I've got it as plus six. I push the focus away because I was front focused I push the focus away plus six in other words I pushed it towards further away for focusing and that is a really very simple easy way to do it remember your chart needs to be about between 30 35 36 degrees it's going to be super specific 40 45 too steep obviously you can't autofocus fine-tune that way okay thanks for watching and catch you later bye